Well, don't say I didn't warn you all. Here's my first attempt at reviewing a Transformers toy. And I'm starting with a favourite, Siege Spinister. God, I hope this works. Spinister here comes from the tail end of the War for Cybertron Siege line. And as you can see, he's a great example of a character's popularity in IDW, making him a prime candidate for a modern day figure. The toy takes design elements both from his IDW appearance and his classic G1 figure. The figure possesses great posability, up to the high standards of modern Transformers design. The figure comes with a pair of double barreled guns to represent his classic double target master partners, Singe and Hair Splitter. I love the design of them, though I think they missed out on a great idea. If they had made these two compatible with the Battlemasters, so you could swap out these two barrels for the ones on the separately released Battlemaster figures. The figure looks great wielding a pair of custom body part swapped Battlemasters. Hopefully we'll eventually get his original Target Masters released. They seem to be working their way through a lot of Battlemasters, so all we really need is some with some purple arms, some purple legs, and a black body. And hopefully we'll be able to mix and match the parts to properly represent his traditional partners. Spinister's transformation is both fun and rather intuitive. It's not a masterpiece transformation, but nor is it a two-step changer. Just like in robot mode, alt mode is covered in a plethora of siege ports, allowing you to arm him up however you see fit. Spinister is definitely a character I don't think would have been made if not for his popularity in IDW. I genuinely enjoy the figure. Uh, hopefully I can get my hands on the other members of the scavengers because who does not want to finish off that crew? All I need to do is get Skytread, Croc, Misfire, who goes for an absolute fortune. I doubt we're going to get a Fulcrum, but who knows? At some point, Hasbro have got to run out of popular characters they can uh, make, and hopefully they go slightly more obscure. So yeah, that's it. My first review. It's of the great buy icon himself, Spinister, and hopefully my voice has not annoyed you too much. So for me to everyone out there, stay safe. Don't go mad, especially these times. I know it's rough out there. We still have Transformers, though. Little bits of plastic to keep us happy. And this one definitely does the job.